A man beaten to death on the southwest side of Indianapolis over the weekend, and now two men are behind bars. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall found out one of the suspects has a lengthy criminal background, including being charged with a nearly identical crime. We do want to warn you some of the details in this case are hard to hear. We'll miss you, Brian. <laughs> A cross marks the front yard of the home. Police say 56 year old Brian Ward was beaten, which ultimately led to his death. Brian was an amazing guy. Very kind, very sweet. Family says he loved his best friend and dog Spike and lived with his two nephews. They tell me he'd do anything for anyone. I'll miss him. I'll miss seeing him with his dog on the front porch. He didn't do anything to anybody and didn't deserve this. <laughs> It's hard for those who were closest to Ward to wrap their minds around what happened to him. Court documents detail a gruesome beating. They say he was beaten, stripped naked, and drug onto the front porch to be put on display. After witnesses say he made a flirtatious comment toward a neighbor of one of the suspects. Nobody did anything until it was too late. The documents go on to say Ward tried to get away from the two suspects arrested, but they chased him down, beating him inside and out of the home while repeatedly shouting their intent to kill him. He was rushed to the hospital when he went into cardiac arrest and later died. Brian shouldn't be dead. That sentiment being spoken by many loved ones of Brian's. 100% preventable. The guy had done it before and he did it again because you guys let him out. One of the suspects arrested has a long history of battery, being charged in 2018 with a nearly identical crime. He was arrested for involuntary manslaughter and aggravated battery, among other things, for beating a man in a hotel lobby. That man also went into cardiac arrest and died. You let a monster back on the street. And now another man's dead. And now another man's dead. The suspect reached a plea deal back in 2018 that dropped the involuntary manslaughter charge. He pled guilty to aggravated battery and was sentenced to 16 years. But how was he out of prison? WRTV obtained court documents that show he had four years suspended, meaning he needed to serve 12 years. The court ordered eight of those to be behind bars, four in community corrections. He had one year of time served when sentenced, so he was supposed to spend seven years in prison. Under Indiana law, convicts can serve 75% of their sentence for good behavior. So in this case, the suspect should have spent around five years and three months of that seven year sentence but he was released nine months before that. The criminal justice system failed. And no one seems to know why he was released. WRTV has reached out to the Department of Corrections for answers. Court documents show when Ward was being beaten, the suspect with the history of battery said, quote, this is what I do. This is who I am. I'm going to take care of it. So many people's lives are changed because they let him out. They should have never let him out. In Indianapolis. Caitlin Kendall, WRTV.